Welcome to Seek Reality with Roberta Grimes. Joyous conversations about what the afterlife evidence and modern science combine to tell us is true about our one reality. You have nothing to fear. You are eternal and you are perfectly loved. Knowing the truth changes everything. Now, here's Roberta. Welcome to Seek Reality. I'm Roberta Grimes and I'm so happy you're with us today. It was about five years ago now that Thomas, who's my, of course, as you know, my beloved primary spirit guide, first told me that he wanted us to start an online university to teach about death and the afterlife. Actually, I think it's funny, don't you, that our spirit guides, most of whom haven't lived on Earth for maybe hundreds of years, are so up on modern things like, you know, online educational programs, for example, and he's up on political ads, he's up on all kinds of things. I found the online university idea, though, to be not just daunting, but off-putting. I mean, a whole university, who wants that? It's like, you know, instead of Harvard University, it's Heaven University. And it's like, it's it's off-putting because who even wants to go when you call it that? But I I thought about it and, you know, he said, not yet, not yet. I said, great, because I didn't want to do it at all. But over the next few years, he refined it to what he eventually began to call Seek Reality Online. He was the one who came up with the Seek Reality name for the podcast, and I guess he just is extending it. But I began to think of it as maybe something that not only we could probably do, but it actually was maybe needed. And then last fall, out of the blue, he said, it's time to actually do this thing. I had been discussing it with a few of my most trusted and respected friends in this work. And of course, Craig Hogan, mainly, he was first among them. And we, we, as we talked about it, we began to think, you know, maybe he's right. And maybe the time is right. So we pulled the trigger. And we finally, um, and it was a process, we'll talk a little bit about it today, to get to the point even of being ready to do it. Um, but now that we're doing it, Thomas is giving me all kinds of downloads. Just to be clear, everybody, everyone travels out of body at night and meets with our spirit guides. I'm sure you know that. If you don't, here's new information. You are an astral traveler. We all are. It's just natural because our minds don't sleep. Our bodies need to sleep. And that's something really constructive to do while, while, you're, while your body is sleeping. And he began, and it, a download is just when they, in the morning, they let you remember some of what was said during the night. That's really the main difference between that and a normal night. But one morning, maybe a week ago, I woke up with yet another download from him. And I sort of, I blurred it almost aloud. How come you know so much about us? A communication in the afterlife is by mind. They give one another whole boluses of thought at once, which Thomas says is much more efficient. And that's what he generally does with me now. And his thought was, we know a lot about you. We study you the way, and I love this, that we study you the way Jane Goodall studies chimpanzees. She's heard, of course, she's heard of Jane Goodall. Why not? But then he added, but we couldn't pass for one of you, which I thought was an amazing insight. This is so fascinating. Just as an aside, my life is so much fun at this point that it probably shouldn't even be legal. I don't know. I don't know how expressed to you how much fun this is. But just to sum it up, five years ago now, Thomas first proposed that we teach the death process in the afterlife online. And now he has decided the time is right to get started. So my wonderful treasured friend, Craig, is also getting guidance from his team. And it turns out we both have been aiming at doing this project just given especially our very different roles in it, which fit together well. So we're working on this together. At last, the checks have been written, the teams are at work, and this project is taking on its own momentum, which is even more fun. As I say, it shouldn't probably be legal. But since Craig and I finally are able to see more concretely what it is we're supposed to be doing, we thought it might be time today to involve you more directly in the planning. We want to know what you think. So here for his 33rd Seek Reality appearance and almost nine years of doing these weekly podcasts is our wonderful, treasured, precious friend, Dr. R. Craig Hogan. Craig, welcome. I'm so glad to have you back again. Yeah, thank you. I am grateful. I'm I'm just excited to be back again. Uh, We have so much to talk about and it's such fun. (laughs) Yeah, it is. That's that's the only other word that you could... Yeah. Yeah, so this is like going on vacation. So uh, 
Uh, anxious to talk to you today. <laughs> it is funny how when it all fits together and you begin to see what, what they've been talking about, because you've been getting guidance from your, and, and occasionally you've told me that, that you were frustrated about something and you would go in and sort of speak to your guides and they would just show you this diagram and say, just hold to the plan. The plan's yep. all unfolding. Well, yep. that's good for them to know, but we didn't know what the plan was. No, no. And they didn't uh, share that with me when, when I got that image and they just said, they showed me an easel and I could see that there were diagrams and there were pictures on it. I couldn't tell what they were, but then, then I, it was at the end of a long table with groups of people on either side of the table. Yeah. And I said, what am I supposed to be doing? And they said, here, here's the plan. The plan is in place. Just follow the plan. <laughs> yeah, right. In other words, they're taking us, they're taking us along. All we have to do is be willing. All we have to do is be open and they're going to take us to the next step. And the next step now is, is education. It's helping to understand what it is that we know now. And so that's uh, anxious. I'm anxious to uh, go along that journey with you. It's really going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, so for years, this has been in the planning stage, but uh, Craig and I really didn't know what the plan was, but, and, and so we've had some period, each of us has had some serious setbacks, especially in the last five years. And I feel that it, it was kind of a testing time. Um, do we trust that they know what they're doing? And we're basically we're their avatars here and we'll just do what they want us to do. Or, or are we going to get discouraged and fall away? Well, neither of us, we're, we're pretty bullheaded, I guess. Neither of us is discouraged or willing to fall away at all. And suddenly then last fall, it began to come together in a very beautiful way. So the reason we think you are important is quite simply the fact that so much when, when we began to do this planning, we I didn't know a lot of things, but as as we began to get questions, and, and I consulted, I was out doing the legwork, I consulted with four different companies in the process of finding the right one to do Seek Reality Online. And um, I, as I was trying to answer their questions, I came to understand I could answer their questions, but only because of you. You who are listening now have told me I get emails, um, I even get phone calls. I hear from people all the time with their questions, with their reactions. I know I was able to answer their questions because of you. And so more and more we and Craig has has a lot of people who are part of the Afterlife Research and Education Institute, AREI. And they would if you want to see a nice long email from a from an advisor, you just need to send one to Craig. I have read his emails like they're like a book and they're beautifully done. I, I'm tending to be in too much of a hurry. But the point is, we have been listening to you all this time. Now it's our our joy, frankly. To give you back what you've been asking for. And that's what Seek Reality Online really is now all about. And it's exciting. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. And we, we, we just want to take you, not just take you with us, but have you help us guide us as we go forward, because we're starting to do some more serious things now. But Craig, talk about when we've talked about this, why is it so important that we do this now? Yeah, it's important because of the fact that humanity has grown technologically. We are mature in science and yet in spirituality and understanding who we are in, in eternity, we're primitive. We're still living in caves. And we, we need, to, right now people are coming to realize that that's true. They're, they're coming to want that additional information because they know something's out there. It's as though they had a, a glimpse of something on the horizon and they can't make it out. And it's foggy looking to them. And, and so then now they're saying, what is that? You know, what's coming up for me in, in, in the rest of my life, in the life after this life? And where are my loved ones right now? And they're asking the questions and they don't have the answers. The answers are not there in the religions and they're not there in science. And we have the answers and we just have to help people to, to get them. So the time is right. This is the time when people need the answers to those questions. They need direction in their life. What am I going to be do, doing next? How can I get with other people who have similar understanding? And this is a time for us to give it to them. And we know that's true. And that's why we're doing this. Yeah, um, but I never would have thought of doing this on my own. And most of the things that um, Thomas is now letting me remember of his guidance 
all this new to me. In fact, I think, oh my goodness, how could I be so stupid that I never saw that? But I guess that's why they're way above our pay grade because because they are able to see much more clearly. I I agree with Craig that that this is the time to be doing this. Um, One of the big wake up moments for me came fairly early in working with the people we're working with now. Um, I think we've chosen the right group and and what they're doing or just getting started is really quite beautiful. But they asked us a ton of questions. And one of the first questions they asked so they could position us properly in this world of, you know, online education is, who are your leading competitors? And, 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 you know, you sort of, you look at each other, you say, we don't, we don't have any of those. There's nobody doing this now. And that makes you wonder why there's no one trying to put it all together. And, and I know when I say that we don't have competitors, you immediately think, well, think of all the famous names in the field of afterlife education. Yeah, there are all those people and they're wonderful. Some of them are extraordinary. We, we respect, admire, we love them all. But the problem is they're teaching a little part. That's like say, having a whole bunch of physicists and they're all wonderful and they're teaching great things, but nobody is talking about biology. Nobody's talking about where and how and when all of this happens. What's the science behind it? There, if it's real, there has to be science. All of the things that they don't talk about just because they're so con- conversant in one area that's been the problem in afterlife education and that's the reason why although you could believe it now you, you know believing is not gonna that doesn't that really isn't enough belief it's easy to have a belief in them just about anything we want you to know what we know yes craig and i are certain there is no question in our minds we have long ago given up any doubts because we've had all our questions answered and it's not fair for us to be just deciding we're going to well we're going to retire and go to tahiti and it's entirely up to you to figure it out uh uh-uh. uh we want you to know everything everything that we know and we want you to know it as soon as possible because when you do know it not only will you no longer fear death, but you're never, no longer ever going to fear anything. We want to give you that gift. And, and no, we don't have competitors now. I hope we will. I hope others will say, oh, yeah, we ought to be talking about this stuff. A lot of the rest of the things that fit in around our particular area of expertise, like, you know, being a medium or maybe it's how consciousness works. Those things, those are wonderful things for people to be teaching. But they don't take away your fear of death. Our, that's our job and craig complicates it because he doesn't ever want to use the d word talk about that craig because yeah. this has been a problem it, if if we want people to find us you know on a search there's got to be the word death in there somewhere except he doesn't want to use it no i don't want to use it uh you're right about the the fact that people are using that word and we can have, talk about the death of the, the body the body dies so there's no doubt about that, you know. The, so we can say the death of the body, but as far as the act, the the concept of death, there is no death. There, <laughs> death is just an illusion, and when people have to realize what what we mean when we say that is, when you go from this life into the next life, then it's a transition. So we have transitions, and we'll always have transitions. We'll always be growing. We'll always be becoming. But there is no such thing as a finality, as a death, meaning that, that something is right. ended forever. And uh, so that that's the reason that, that the um, the Anglo-Saxon word uh, death is and now today has such connotations with it, uh, uh, the connotations of mourning and and people are gone forever. And, and we use the word loss. I lost them uh, like they, they, you know, they couldn't be found anymore because they're just not around. And so all of those connotations are connected with death. So uh, that's the reason that we want to say that <laughs> we are going to, it is the life transition into the life after this life. Uh, even, even the word afterlife, you know, because afterlife is a misnomer. There is, it's not like this is the real life and then there is an after this right. real life. Uh, it's, it's all one. We're in a spiritual plane. The earth plane is a spiritual plane. We are spiritual beings. We're having a, f- a physical experience. That's just one of the classes in our school. And so we're having this physical experience. And then we go off into an, another physical experience. But we always remain the individuals whom we are. And we just make transitions from one state of being into another state of being. 
It really, it really is funny, though, working with Craig more closely on these things, because he is so determined never to use the word death. It's like the, the D word. We, we just can't even talk about it. I just love it because it's he's right. He's absolutely right. Not only is there is there's no such thing as death. I mean, scientists will tell you that you can't it, energy can't be created or destroyed. It just changes form. Well, consciousness is energy. And your consciousness, your mind, was not created by your brain. Your brain actually doesn't have much to do with it. Even when you're in your body, it attaches to your whole body. And when when your body dies, it just falls off like an old coat. I mean, it's, you know, pretty tattered by the time you're 90. And you have a wonderful new body. It's, a, it's just amazing how eternal eternity really is. And you belong in it. You are part of it. And we need to teach you that. So anyway, let's talk a little bit about the process of getting here, because I think you might be curious to know, all right, when you decide we're going to do an online program, educational program, what do you do? Well, I contacted actually four different, three companies first. Each of them was very firm about how to do it. You do what, what amounts to a teaser video, in fact, sometimes several and then, of course, you have a paywall and you want a lot of money for the, the meat of the program. And, and you, can't, you can't give anything away. Well, if we're doing this to free the world, the world, if possible, the whole world from the fear of death, how can we put that information behind a paywall? We can't do that. I mean, yes, we'll, there's a lot of work going into this, and it'll be wonderful if if you help to pay a few of the expenses. This is a big deal. But we're not going to put a paywall in front of your face when you come to Secret Reality Online. And that was the first obstacle I, I hit with, with the, the first three, because this is not what you do. You don't give away everything and then say, if you want to know more, come, by, come back and be a member. Uh-uh. But that's what we've done with this. Um, and... Uh, we, we, we were saying, okay, what are we going to charge? And they all wanted us to charge multiple zeros in front with a number in front of it. Uh uh-uh. uh, we can't do that, not to you. So there will be a tiny fee. It'll cost about each month about what a sandwich would cost, not the whole lunch, just the sandwich part. And um, then annually, you'll be able to get it even more cheaply in terms of that 12 a month fee multiplied. It's just, we want you, they said, they insist that if there isn't some sort of fee, then you won't take it seriously. Okay, you'll take it seriously. A sandwich is worth something, but not enough for anybody to feel they can't afford to do this. We want everybody to be part of this. We want everybody to be part of this and everybody to feel empowered by it. So yes, there will be a course that is absolutely free. And if you never just decide to join us, you can still send us emailed questions, whatever you'd like to do. This is your course and we're doing it for you. So basically we're doing everything wrong, the consultants would say. And we, but we didn't think that that was, in fact, the, the same prices came to both of our minds independently. Um, yeah, talk Talk about how you have approached this, Craig, because we haven't talked much about that. We, we tend to com- com- communicate mostly by emails, and they're mostly pretty quick. But, but I have seen you get more and more excited about this, though, as we, it, it becomes more concrete. Yeah, the, because there's so much that we have that we can share with people. Yes. And, and it is much like we are, we are in the desert with all of this water, and, and we have people who are going thirsty and yes you really need to give it to to people and so the best way to do that is to have uh, a, an online school like this in which we are able to help people and and for me of course um, I am I'm anxious to to give this to people and so I'm, I've always been looking for ways of giving it to people and an online school where we have members and, and the members can get uh, in touch with us and uh, have a dialogue with us and, and uh, have presentations that we have on Zoom. And I also like to have local presentations, meetup groups that, that are meeting. And so all of these things are going to help make that possible. They're going to get this to people. And so we have to put this into place. And it will have some costs involved. We're going to have, we're going to have costs and we have to recover. And, and, uh, and so in that way, we need to do's 
we need to have dues for this, but uh, that's all it is. It's going to be a small amount and it's just to cover our costs in doing what we're going to be doing. Uh, but we want it to blow up. We want it to become big. We want it to become yeah. eventually a, um, a television station. And so then once we get to that point, then we'll be able to bring this to everybody, rather like the TVN or, or CBN or those kinds of stations, because the kinds of things that we have to teach people are uplifting. They are, are full of hope. They are freeing. We're freeing humankind from the bind, the binds of, of this, this terrible mythology uh, about things that they don't understand that, that, that people die and then they're, they're put into a ground and the, yeah. you know, the, the uh, family walks across the lawn and they go over to the grave and stare down at the ground as though their loved one was there. Yeah. And yeah. The, the children see that and it's horrible for the children because they say, yes. am I going to be in there? Am I going to be in the ground? And all these mythologies that are still part of our culture, and we have to help people to get beyond them. There's such a wonderful message. And, and when people realize the fact that we are spiritual beings, we're just having a brief experience on Earth, and then we're going to go on to another experience with our loved ones, arm in arm, into the next life. I, I should just tell everyone who's saying, oh, great, TV, when is that going to happen? We have no idea. This was this was what Craig started talking about, I don't know, a month or two ago. And I'd never entered my mind. I mean, I don't even watch TV. I haven't for 20 years. Why would I want to be part of a TV station? So then, of course, Thomas got out working on me at night. And apparently it's part of the plan. I just had no idea. But it's going to be up to you. I mean, if enough people join and there's the money for our TV station, that's next in line. But it'll be a few years, I think. <laughs> we aren't going to find a way to do it until then. But yes, this is such an important point that Craig is making, and I want to emphasize it. In the world in which we live now, the modern Western world, all the Western countries, you know, the US, Australia, Canada, you know, all these countries are so advanced, but they're clueless when it comes to even understanding what people are. Scientists tell us that we are meat robots. Our consciousness is all created by our minds. And when we die, we will blink out completely and rot away. We are basically meat robots. And not only is that perfectly ridiculous, and we can prove it's perfectly ridiculous, but then you've got but right beside them Christianity. And as you know, Christianity... I love my religion even now, but frankly, it teaches us that we are sinful and God should hate us, except Jesus died. God had to see his son die in order to be able to forgive us. That's what Christianity teaches. So we are basically sinful meat robots. I cannot imagine a worse image to have in your mind than that. And it's the opposite of what is true, because the more we learn, the more we realize that there is, in fact, a Godhead. It's all genuine. It's all true. But none of it is anything like what our religions teach us. Nothing is true about what science teaches us. We are totally at sea. So it was really ultimately that that made Craig and me realize we've got to do this and we've got to do it with all our whole heart and soul because nobody else seems to be, be care if other people don't know enough to teach it this way, which basically based only on truth. Or maybe, I, I just don't know. I just, I just hope others will also begin to teach the truth because the truth, as Jesus said, will set you free. And this sets you free from everything that could possibly ever harm you or hold you back because, dear friends, it's all good news. The, the best news is there's no bad news. I looked for a long time for any bad news. I mean, I even was hoping I could find a hell or a devil or something like that. That, that, that. Don't tell me that Christianity was wrong about that too, but boy, it was. There is no bad news. So as you can see, we get very charged up as we talk about this. And But the, one of the great things about the people we finally chose, uh, and it's a Canadian company that was strongly recommended to me by people I very much trusted, and they were right, these people are wonderful, was that they put a tremendous amount of effort into trying to help us understand what it was we were doing. And that's when all the things people have been saying to me, and thank you for all the emails over the last almost 10 years since we started with Seek Reality, I have heard from thousands of people. And so many of the questions you asked, so many of the, of the comments you made all came back to me then. And I could answer all their questions about what we were doing, who our target market was so much because of you. 
And I'm so grateful to you for that. So Craig, talk about a little bit about our sister. We're going to have, we're basically, we're, we're, we've got twins going here. Well, they're, they're twins, they have very different roles. But beside, um, of course, beside Seek Reality Online, there will remain AREI, the Afterlife Research and Education Institute. And it's going to be a nonprofit still. And it's going to be supplementing by using any extra money that this, that this, um, Seek Reality Online project brings in that isn't going to be devoted to its direct work. The the AREI program will be supporting finally people like Sonia Rinaldi and others who are doing really serious work and just don't have the money to do it. And we're excited about that too. But tell people what AREI does because I would love to have more people join it just in prep for being part of the SRO program. Yeah, uh, the Afterlife Research and Education Institute. Uh, and we founded it, Roberta and, and I and, and uh, three other people founded it. And the effort was going to be to, to bring resources to the people who are doing the work that are proving to humanity who we are in eternity. So what we're doing is we're, we're trying to pour gasoline on that fire and to help people to, to really understand what's going on. And and so these, these people who are out there doing this research are, are doing it on their own dime. They're paying for everything. Uh, Sonia Rinaldi is doing marvelous work in instrumental transcommunication, that's EVPs. She does all of her work for free. And, uh, and she's just trying to, to scrape along. And, and I have never, ever taken anything from AREI. I, you know, I receive nothing. Everything is volunteer. And so we need to get support to these people, support in the terms of money, but support also in networking to help people get together. And so we're seeing AREI as the, the organ that is going to help people to do the work that we know needs to be done. And so that, that's the unique role that the AREI has as a 501c3 nonprofit. And that will continue to do that, that work. And, and we are seeing results from it. We're seeing people get together. And Sonia now is well known. And, and it's because we brought her up from Brazil uh, in, uh, I think it was 2014, and, and had and introduced her to everybody and let them see what she's doing. And, and now everybody is just amazed at the kinds of things she's doing so that's what we're trying to do and and we're going to continue to do that work uh, and the secret reality online is, is going to, to be an, uh, a school and like any other school uh, and it's going to make these the curriculum available uh, it's going to make all of those resources available to people so it's directly teaching directly education and so that that's the difference and and then um, the Afterlife Research and Education Institute then would support uh, Secret Reality Online as well. And I would expect it to be reciprocated. And, and so between the two, we're going to try to make a difference for humankind. We know that humankind can be different. We know that we can live together in love, peace, and joy. All we have to do is decide to do it. It's all in our hands. It's all free will. And if we decide to do it and we take steps to do it, then those on the other side who are working with us are going to help us and we are going to meet that goal. And humankind is going to live together in love, peace, and joy. We've invited just a very few people who are part of this uh, community uh, to join us. And all of them are people that we consider to be not just pure in heart and selfless, but also people who have proven that their their purity of heart, they're basically being very well guided to do the right thing uh, for everyone. And people that that you have gotten to know through Seek Reality uh, through the podcast will will also be there. But in the beginning, it's mainly going to be just Craig and me. And the reason it, it, it this isn't anything we thought up. It's just that um, the, the the guides are telling us that basically I'm a, I'm a teacher of the of the basics. That's what, in fact Thomas has been very blunt about that. Don't try to get fancy. Just teach the basics, and that's what I do, and that's what I will be doing. Um, I also am able to run and support the programs. Um, the, the, the one who is really the expert in this is Craig, and he is going to be teaching, doing a lot more intensive teaching than I am. Um, and at some 
a fairly advanced level because he can do that. That's where his knowledge is. That's where his expertise is. And so we sort of between us, we're told that we're going to be able to pretty much teach anybody who needs to know at their level, um, which makes me very happy. I, I, it's their support. And I know you feel this way too, Craig. It's their support and saying, hey, yeah, you, you got this. You got this. It's basically their archery section now. If that's the case, then, you know, we'll do whatever, whatever problems we need to surmount. We can surmount because um, we have a team behind us uh, that wants this done. And it's yeah. the time is right now. Yeah, it is going to happen because they're they're very much behind it. We we have a huge number of people who are working on the other side diligently to make this happen, and so they are the the, the primary team. They're the team on the other side, and we receive active guidance from them, and they put pieces into place for us to have things happen. So there is an, an active effort on the other side as well as on this side, and mm -hmm. all we need to do is pull it together. Um, and then as a result of that, there are, I think there are 10 guiding topics that I, I believe that we're, we're going to be teaching. And I, I'd like to share those with you. I think. Um, <laughs> wow, go ahead. You're ahead of me. I can't even think yeah. of 10. Go so, ahead. <laughs> these are the 10 guiding topics. Uh, we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. People need to realize that and to understand that. And we can help them to understand that. We will never die. There is no such thing as death, as a finality. There is only the death of the body, which is just a transition for us. You know, it's like the we are then turned from the the uh, the, the chrysalis into a butterfly. Uh, but we will never die. We'll just make a transition. Uh, we want to help people to understand what happens at, at the death of the body. What happens just before it, during, and immediately afterwards. And we know. We have all the information about that now. We want them, people to understand what life is like after this life. What is that life like that everybody goes into? We want them to know how to communicate with people who are now living in that life. We need to have continuing bonds with them, with continuing relationships. It's a different relationship, but it's still a continuing, a, a really fulfilling relationship with them. We need to help people to learn how to live this life abundantly in contentment and happiness. We need to help them to learn how to live with others in love, peace, and joy. We need to help them to understand why the life is set up the way it is. Why is this life this way? Why are these things happening to me? And we need to learn them to learn what their purpose is in life. And then we need to let, help them to have a perspective on religion, on spirituality, and in embracing the best of what is in religion and discarding the rest that, that's holding us back. And so I think those are the, the guiding topics that are, we're going to be informing people about in SRO. It's beautifully said. Uh, yes, this is very exciting. It does all fit together, too. I mean, it all comes, it all comes together. It's part of, imagine a big, gigantic puzzle. Each of these puzzle pieces fits with all the others. And uh, when you understand part of it, you begin to understand the whole. And that's one of the reasons that one of the many reasons that, you know, it's true, because it's like if you were studying um, Alaska, you wouldn't find that the geography and the weather and all of that. It all fits together. It's, it's all part of one whole. That's what this is, too. That's what makes it so exciting. And many people who are listening now and know that um, I, I basically spend a lot of effort teaching the teachings of Jesus need to know that that's not going to be directly part of Seek Reality Online, but it will be closely affiliated with it. And if enough people want to be part of the Lord's way, then we'll, we will know that it, it's time for us to finally give Jesus the, the actual movement he came to start, as opposed to the Christianity that came along and seized on him several hundred years later. So I'm committed to doing that if, if the Lord wants it done. And if you feel that way, then uh, let's get together and let's give him what he came to bring us and pretty clearly told us that he came to bring us be wonderful if it were time for that too but again it's not up to us it's it's up to all our guidance your guidance as well as our guidance and that's really the point that i want you to take away from today i want you to think about this as something we are all doing together because 
if you have a thought, if there's something that you think that we ought to be considering that maybe we're not considering, send me an email. Or if, if Craig is the person you, you feel closest to between us, get in touch with him. Let him know what you think. The more people will do that, the more this will be a success because we will make sure we cover what everybody sees and feels. It isn't really about us at all. In fact, my ur only urgency is to try to make sure we get into an, a way that's sensible and understandable everything that we have spent our lives learning. I mean, I've spent 50 years studying this and Craig almost as long. So we have a lot to share. And I, it's very important to me that we, sh we put it together in a way that will make it easy for you to get it too. Um, we're already looking to who the next generation will be of teachers and um, of, of people to run these organizations. It's very important to us that, that we be able to leave you with something, if you're young, that you can consult when you're our age, and it'll still be here for you. That's, that's all part of this planning, and that's one reason why it's so exciting. I mean, all of us want to be able to do something that's bigger than we are that's going to help a little bit even after we're not here. And that's part of what this is for Craig and me too. Yeah, there is, this is an ongoing project. We're just at the beginning of it right now. That's true. So <laughs> if, if you can imagine what it was like when, when Copernicus first suggested that the earth is not the center of the universe, it was fully uh, almost a century later when Galileo with, through his telescope, was looking at the moons around Jupiter and he was seeing phases in Venus and, and he was telling the clergy and the scientists, just look through the telescope, just look through it. And they, they wouldn't look through the telescope. They wouldn't look at what was going on. It was decades later into the, into the, the end of the, the, that century and into the 18th century that people finally realized the earth is not the center of the universe, that there is a sun, that we're revolving around the sun. So it took that long, all the way from Copernicus up through the decades after Galileo. The same thing's gonna happen now. We're just at the beginning. We're, we're, people are just beginning to understand, but we've got the answers. We've got the telescope. We've got all of the evidence. It's all there. We just have to get people to look through the, the telescope. If they just look at the evidence that we know is true, then, they, then anyone will come around with realizing that we are eternal beings. We are in a period of, of brief physical existence and that we will continue on after this. And our loved ones are, are with us. They never leave us. Even after they don't use the body anymore, they still have not left us. And no. we just need to get people to look through the telescope just to realize <laughs> that all that's true. Absolutely right. Don't, but don't you love the way he talks? I just love to listen to you, Craig, because you always inspire me. So I, I, th I think that, that that is the kind of the whole point of it, really, um, because I know my, my family thinks I've lost my mind. Um, you know, Craig and I are in our mid 70s. We figure we've got a decade maybe to teach and then we're going to have to have other people, younger people do the teaching. That's fine with us. You know, we're we're looking forward to going home, but we would like to give enough time to you to give back to all of you the gift for the gift that you've given us of listening to us, believing us, trusting us, being part of our lives. We want to give back to you and to the world everything that we have learned. And that's why when you come to when, when it's finally up, we expect the end of April, but you know, these things always take longer than we expect. We, we expect that when you go to, to seek reality online for the first time, you're going to see right, you're going to see my welcome and his welcome, but you're also going to see a 15 episode summary, 15 five minute videos featuring yours truly. I, I have a great face for radio, but try to get past that. Um, giving you everything you need to know to, to come to not just believe, but be certain this is true. It's taken me a lot of effort. I'm still working actually on the on the final scripts, but I've it, if you decide to take it as a podcast, it's just going to be like 80 minutes long. You can listen to it in your car. Once you internalize this information, I promise you, my dear friends, you will lose your fear when you get it, when you truly get it, you will know. 
you won't have to believe anything anymore. People ask me, do you know, do I believe in the afterlife? Oh, that day passed a long time ago <laughs> when I still believed in the afterlife. I know, I know the details. I could tell you what's on the breakfast table. It's amazing how much we know. And we only really begin to, well, I only began to understand that when I was trying to write it down. But this is just the beginning, as Craig says. We are coming together, he and I, in trust and in faith and in love for you to give you back everything we possibly can of what we have learned so that you will have a perfectly beautiful life going forward and entirely free of not just the fear of death, but but all fears. And that's why I'm doing this. So Craig, what do you what do you want people most to take away from our little conversation today? Yeah, the important thing to realize is that all of this is within our grasp. So it's in our free will, it's in our ability to have a different life. We can live an abundant life full of contentment and happiness with other people. We have, need to have no fears, either in this life or about the transition from this life. And if people can just realize that it's within our grasp, we can make the choice to make that happen now and, and take the step, first step forward to doing that. And the first step forward then is going to be just opening up and becoming involved in th this organization and then allowing us to take you along, to guide you, to, to bring you along into understanding these truths are true. And if you just will come along with us, we will help you to understand it and it will make a huge difference in your life. <laughs> Perfectly said. Thank you, dear. And we've we've come to the end of our time today. Um, we've arranged to have another conversation, Craig and I, um, with you as part of it, a month from now, because we we wanted you to know what we're starting, and and then we think you may want to sort of know what's going on a month from now. So we, we'll, we're going to come together again and give you an update. We'll have a much better understanding then of timing and details. And again, meanwhile, if you have anything you think we should know about what you think is important, don't hesitate to, to get in touch with one of us. Just send us an email and uh, we, we will respond to your email. But more to the point, we'll take, we'll take your suggestions to heart. So again, we've come to the end of our time. This has been Seek Reality with Roberta Grimes, and I'm so glad you could be with us today. This is so exciting. I can't stand it. Please never forget, never forget that you are a powerful, eternal being. You never began and you never will end. And when you really get everything that that means, it's going to change everything in your life for the better. And as Craig said, it truly does change everything. Next week, our guest is going to be a longtime friend of mine, someone I actually very much admire. His name is T.J. Woodward, and he'll be with us for the third time. T.J. is a bright, and he's really a profoundly spiritual man. He leads a non-denominational congregation in the San Francisco area. His first appearance with us was in 2015. Seek Reality was then barely two years old. And at that time, I was actually I have to say bowled over by his amazing book just out then called Conscious Being, Awakening to Your True Nature. I had just finished uh, Liberating Jesus, and I was still sort of bowled over by that. But there I was reading in Conscious Being a lot of the same teachings, but with no relationship to what Jesus had taught. And yet it was the same stuff. I I took to taking uh, Conscious Being at, at, at Literally, I would call it liberating Jesus for people who don't want to talk about Jesus. That's what a, that's how amazing and magical that book was. And then more we became friends, and more and more his his particular ministry started to tend toward helping people with substance abuse problems. So we invited him back a while later to talk about his new book on that, which was called Conscious Recovery, A Fresh Perspective on, on Addiction. And that's a very important topic now, of course. I was just reading that one of the leading causes of death now of people in their prime of life in America is substance abuse. Think about that and be horrified. So this is all very, very, very contemporary, very important topical stuff. His new book, it's not, I don't think it's totally new. I think it's a year old, is called Conscious creation, 
Five Steps to Embracing the Life of Your Dreams. It comes out of his work with people who, you know, have really hit bottom at this point and are substance abusers. But it's it's a beautiful book, which, you know, like like conscious being, conscious creation is essentially the the teachings of Jesus, but without needing to have Jesus in it, if you prefer not to. It's really, it's not a long book and it's a beautiful book. It's really meant to empower us all. TJ Woodward is a beautiful man. He lives in spiritual service all the time. I think you're going to love this. Please be sure to join us next week. And of course, our wonderful guest today has again been the world's leading expert on death, the afterlife, and the greater reality where it all happens, as well as the science behind it all. Craig has the whole package. He has put together all of it. And I, he is my mentor still because I'm still learning new things from him. And I have never found anything that he taught that didn't make Okay, I get, I know I understand this other stuff too because of what you just said there. It's an amazing relationship. He's been with us for the 33rd time, and every one of those has been, of course, a different topic. We've been talking about the start of actively working on seek reality online. And what, if this is what we quickly have come to see, is a project that all of us are doing together. As the developers just begin their work, it, it's clear that. We, we are going to we already, because of you, we can answer a lot of questions. With your help, we can answer a lot more questions. And with your help, it's going to be designed to help as many people in the Western world as possible. According to Thomas, that's our target. And then we'll be able to take over the world. It's his, again, we don't really know all the whole plan at this point, but they're telling us enough about it just to make us feel giddy, which is probably the point of it all. This is going to be a wonderful, wonderful adventure, and it's going to be one that we all can share. Um, so again, if you're a seeker who is in Craig's orbit or in mine and you have questions, just let us know. We want to know what you need because then we can give the world back what you tell us that it needs. That's a lot more than just Craig and me alone. But for now, um, we're just watching this wonderful development team, which is based in Canada, get on the topic and they're doing it so well and their focus is on listening which is refreshing and then helping us to, to deliver to you exactly what you want meanwhile as i said we report we plan to report back to you in a month as things progress maybe then there'll be another report another month from that but very soon seek reality online is going to be alive we hope by the end of april and but whenever it happens, we're going to devote whatever time it takes to do this as right as we possibly can for you. And as you know, I have nonfiction books, Liberating Jesus, My Thomas, The Fun of Dying, The Fun of Staying in Touch, The Fun of Growing Forever, and The Fun of Living Together, and soon The Fun of Loving Jesus. Finally, this one is going to come out. For children, there's The Fun of Meeting Jesus. And all of these books are available on bookstores or on Amazon.com. The adult books are also available as audiobooks. And I'm going to actually ask Craig to jump in now, if he can. Give us your titles, because he put out four books this year, which are extraordinary. Tell us quickly those titles. Okay, sure. Um, your Eternal Self, Science Discovers the Afterlife. There is Nothing But Mind and Experiences. That show, That's about the basis of reality. Reasons for What Happens to You in Your Life and Your Afterlife. Answers to Life's Enduring Questions from Science Discoveries and Afterlife Revelations. And finally, the last one, which is the, the one I think that culminates all of them. It's the evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. You will never die. I, I have read all but the last one, and they're they're pretty mind blowing. I should tell you too, Craig, that um, last week we had a, a topic on my my blog that was a little bit challenging for people, and and they were telling each other, you know, hey, read read Craig's book. Um, there is nothing but mind and experiences, and you'll get it. And so I thought, wow, they're even recommending it to each other now. I just love that so much. But all of these books are also going to be available through the website. Um, we want you to have the ability to, to not necessarily have to pay retail for these books. And I'm looking now into how we can make that happen so that you can, you can have the books without having to pay the full price. We have a lot of ideas. I don't know how many of them are going to come to fruition, but it's just exciting to be able to try to do them for you. 
As you know, past episodes of Seek Reality are available on webtalkradio.net, realrevolutionradio.com, iTunes, iHeart. Basically, almost anywhere podcasts can be found, you'll find Seek Reality at this point. And there is also Seek Reality app for free in the iTunes app store. And meanwhile, our dear friends, this has been Seek Reality with Roberta Grimes and Craig Hogan. Please enjoy, please make the most of this coming week in our one reality, always knowing that you are a powerful, eternal being, and you, most of all in the universe, you are infinitely loved. You've been listening to Seek Reality with Roberta Grimes. Roberta blogs and answers questions at robertagrimes.com. Join us every week as we explore what the afterlife evidence and modern science combine to tell us is true about the one reality we all share. Knowing the truth changes everything.